Hello everyone, welcome back to another Beat Saber tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can update and install custom mods for Beat Saber 1.17. We will be using multiple links for this video, so I'll have them all in the description below, and let's go. The first thing you want to do, go to your desktop, open up Google Chrome or anything, and then type in Mod Assistant. Once you have it typed in the search bar, just go down here to the first link, scroll down to where that big Mod Assistant logo is, click download here, and then download the latest EXE. Once that's done downloading, just drag that onto your desktop, open that up. I already have it, so I'm just going to open it up. Once you open the Mod Assistant file, it will pop up saying that you will need to find your Beat Saber install folder. Now there are two places that you can find your Beat Saber install folder. I'll have them on the screen right now. One is the file path to the Oculus download and the Steam VR download. This is what it should look like no matter if you're using Steam or Oculus. Once you located your folder, just come up here, copy that, and then go back into Mod Assistant, paste it in there, and then you should be able to install mods into your Beat Saber install folder. Once that pop-up is gone, press I agree, and you are now able to use the mods tab. So just come over here, and these are where all your mods are that you can click and install. Now in order to actually enable all the mods, you want to download and tick off all of the core mods. You don't necessarily need camera 2 unless you're making videos like I do. Once you ticked off all the core mods that you want, just go down here to install or update, press that. And after a few seconds, it should say down here, finished installing mods. And if we go back to our Beat Saber install folder, go to the plugins folder, open that up. You should have all of your mods in here. Just a little side note, there aren't as many mods on Mod Assistant right now. That's only because Beat Saber just updated and everyone has to update the mods. So as the days go on, there will be more mods for you to click and install for Beat Saber. Once you have all of these mods installed from Mod Assistant, go back to the Beat Saber install folder and press the IPA. Just open that up and then press the enter key to continue. That just is a better secure way of making sure all the mods are in. Once you're done clicking through all those, make sure to open up Beat Saber. Always, always, always open up Beat Saber to make sure all the mods are working and everything is running fine. Now, if this is your first time downloading custom mods for Beat Saber, you might be a little confused on where to find your custom songs folder. All you need to do to locate that is go to the Beat Saber data folder on the top. At the top, you have the two main folders you wanna look at, the custom levels and the custom work in progress levels. But now we just wanna focus on the custom levels. Open that up, and in here are all of the songs that you can put into your custom levels folder. Now you might be wondering how you can download custom songs on here. Open up Mod Assistant again and go to the Options tab. Right here you'll see your install folders, so where it is. So if you need to, you can go back and change it. Now to download custom songs, you want to go down to this checkbox down here where it says Enable One Click Installs. If you open that, you can check off Beat Saver, Model Saver, or Playlists. Uh, I always just do Beat Saber because that's the easiest way and the way that I use to download songs. But you are also able to use Model Saber or I guess Playlist, which I've never used. Now what this means is when you enable one click is that when you go to the site Beat Saber, let's open that up right now. Once you go onto the site, this has a whole bunch of songs and maps that the community has made for you to download and play. Now say you want to try and find a specific song that you want to download for Beat Saber, all you need to do is just go up to the search bar and type in the name of the song, and sometimes it will be better uh, searching if you type in the creator of that song. Now this is the map that I want to download, so just click on the name. It'll show you all the stats and all the information that you need for downloading the song. Now if you go up here, you'll see all these types of different icons. You'll have the download zip, uh, get a preview of it, but we wanna focus on this cloud icon with the arrow. This is the one click icon from Mod Assistant, and this just means letting them know, hey, I wanna download this straight onto my folder. 
So go ahead and click on this. Little one click installer will open. Let that install. And that is how you download songs straight into your Beat Saber folder. Now, instead of using Mod Assistant to download all the mods, I would highly recommend going to the Beat Saber modding group Discord, where they have their own tab specifically for mods for Beat Saber. Once you're in the Discord, all you need to do is just scroll down, go to Public Releases, and click on the PC Mods tab. And this is where you can download and install a whole bunch of mods that the community has made. You can scroll around, see what mods there are, but let's say you want to download a specific mod. Let's say Saber Factory. This one's a fun one. All you need to do is just click on the link that it provides, open that up into a new tab, go to the latest release, Saber Factory 2.3.6, I'm guessing, open that up, and download the zip file. Once it's done downloading, just open the file, and you should see the saberfactory.dll. This is the file that you want to make sure the Saber Factory folder is going to work. Once you have the file opened up, just drag this DLL into your desktop and then go back into your Beat Saber install folder and go to where the plugins folder is. Open that up and just drag the DLL right in here. To make sure everything's working, go back and press the IPA, press continue, and it should be running. Usually when you play a game of Beat Saber, the actual Saber folder won't load. The reason why that might not be loading is because there is no Saber folder actually in your Beat Saber install folder. Man, I wonder how many times I've said folder in this video. The way you get that is just right clicking, new folder, and type in custom sabers. And this right here is the file destination where you want to plug in all your files to your custom sabers. Now, where would a good place to find sabers be? Just open up Google Chrome or any other browser and go to Model Saber. Click on the first link and it should just say welcome to Model Saber. You don't really need that. You'll have all the mods installed. And up here are the different things that you can download, like custom blocks, custom platforms, sabers, and avatars. But we want to focus mainly on sabers. So just click the sabers logo. And on this page is a whole bunch of sabers that you can download and use for Beat Saber. And let's say you want to download this saber right here. All you need to do is just press download. And the saber file should download on the bottom. Next, open up the Beat Saber install folder again. Open up the custom sabers folder and just drag in that file to the folder. And now you should be able to have that saber in Beat Saber. Exit out of this folder again and just make sure to press this one more time to make sure all the mods are installed and secured. And there you go. That is how you download custom songs, custom sabers and just mod Beat Saber in general for 1.17. Real quickly, I just want to say thank you everyone for all the support that you've been showing on my channel lately. It has been amazing, and there's really no other words that I can say besides thank you. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye!